One of the most effective ways to increase productivity as a 3D artist is to use the right tools, especially a good keyboard. One that will directly help you learn and work faster, utilizing shortcuts to reduce the amount of time you spend navigating Blender to find and apply what you're looking for, or to select the tool you need. This keyboard is important for you due to the difficulty of remembering hundreds of shortcuts that you will need to master in order to become a true Blender artist. This problem can become worse when working across multiple programs, as each piece of software comes with a different toolkit and thus a different set of hotkeys. Logic Keyboard is a company that creates keyboards for creative people who work using 3D software such as Blender, in addition to all kinds of other software such as After Effects, Premiere, Photoshop, Illustrator, and more. The Blender Shortcut Keyboard is the first product for an open source software. I believe this kind of keyboard is great for new Blender artists or even those with experience because it is hard to always remember the hotkeys and shortcuts. This keyboard contains 147 shortcuts readily printed and color-coded for user-friendly navigation. This can noticeably increase the speed at which you will be able to be familiar with Blender shortcuts in addition to saving you the work of having to memorize them. There are six color-coded categories of keys that you need to be aware of. Orange for general operations, dark gray for mixed operations, yellow for timeline animation, light gray for view orientation, white for collections, and dark blue for modeling operations. There are also three essential keys that you are going to need to use a lot in order to use the keyboard properly. These are Control, Shift, and Alt. As you can see, there are small dots with labels that show you exactly what will happen if you hit a combination of Control, Shift, or Alt in addition to the key that has the color code. This color coding might not seem like a necessary thing, or might even seem to be confusing at the start, but once you start using the keyboard, you will realize how important it is. If we start from the right side of the keyboard, which is less intimidating and less cluttered, we can see that the keypad numbers are used for orientation. For example, number 1 is used for front view, number 3 is used for the right view, number 7 is used for the top view, and number 5 is used for perspective. On the other hand, also number 2 is used to view downward, number 4 is used to view left, number 6 is used to view right, and number 8 is used to view upward, in addition to zero that allows you to see through the camera that you have in the viewport. The yellow keys are used to navigate through animation keyframes, in addition to the spacebar that starts and pauses the animation. Now if we try to use the general operations of the orange keys, we will be able to do a lot of things. As you can see, F2 allows you to rename your objects, F3 allows you to use the search tool, and F4 allows you to bring the file context menu. On the other side, F11 allows you to render view, and F12 allows you to render. Also some of the things we need to use a lot in Blender is transformation tools. R allows you to rotate your objects, S allows you to scale them, G allows you to move them as you can see on the keyboard. Also you are going to use X that allows you to delete the object in the viewport, H to hide objects, and N from the keyboard that allows you to show properties, which is something that you will need often. Also one of the most important shortcuts you will use are those for modeling. For example, it allows you to extrude faces and edges, P allows you to separate elements, F allows you to merge faces next to each other on the same plane and K allows you to use the knife tool, which is a really handy tool to do certain things. These are some of the most essential and most important shortcuts to use inside Blender using this keyboard, and they will help you get used to Blender as a beginner. But if you have experience using Blender, there are tons of other shortcuts that I did not mention to make sure I will not make this whole thing boring. The look and feel of this keyboard. It will feel pretty different compared to a mechanical or metal keyboard. Although the keyboard is mainly plastic based, it actually does not feel like it is made out of less durable material. It also does not make a loud typing noise, which is a benefit when working with teams, especially if you are newer to using shortcuts. It will help you to form a nice workflow for yourself. There is no need to search for what command you're going to learn to use the keyboard. Overall, I believe that this is a really good investment if you are a Blender user and I highly recommend it. If you want to put your hands on this keyboard, there is a link in the description. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have something to add, you can leave it in the comment section below. 
Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.